Okay, show that. Is it pointing at the screen? Yeah. Okay. Show that. That is, oops, is tan to x. All right. So what we need to do is to put it over a common denominator and see what happens. Common denominator, it is in tax, no, would be 1 minus tan x, 1 plus tan x. The first fraction we've multiplied by 1 plus 10x, top and bottom. The second fraction we've multiplied by 1 minus 10x, top and bottom, to give us that. That's really the step that you need to show to get all the marks. We then simplify this to give us 2 10x over 1 minus 10 squared x. And it's enough to be able to then make the step and say that that is 10 2x. And that's it. If you have two marks, that's really all you needed to show. You got them? Yeah. yeah. Part two. Hence, evaluate this integral. Well, hence means we're going to use what we've just done. We're going to recognise that this in the bracket is 10 to x. So it's really saying pi by 12 to pi by 6, the integral of tan to x dx. You have a few choices on how you do this. You can, if you're so inclined, go straight to the formula booklet and look up tan x, the integral of tan x, which is here in the formula booklet under integration. It says, integrate tan x, you get natural log of sec x. I didn't do that. I, uh, I said, I kind of didn't think of looking at the formula booklet and said this is the integral of sine 2x over cos 2x, where the top is quite like the derivative of the bottom. This is a much more difficult way of doing it. Really? The top is very much like the derivative of the bottom, except we need to have a 2 there, and it would need to be minus. So let's put a minus a half there to get rid of that, as was once famously called fiddle factor. Um, we now have minus a half, a half times. Um, the, we now got the top is the derivative of the bottom, so it's the, uh, the natural log of cos 2x. This is a stupid way of doing this. Why would it do this? Really? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Pay the limits. And we get natural log of some stuff cos of, oh, things. I don't know. Cos of pi by 3 is root 3 over 2. <laughs> Minus uh, cos of pi by 6 is, that's wrong way around. What have I done? I don't know, do Shall I? That's a half. <laughs> There we go, it's okay, that's a half. Minus natural log of 3, 3, 2. There we go, it looks like that. I think. Yep. So we've got minus a half, ln a half, plus a half, ln root 3 over 2. Um, it did say in the form A, ln B. So this is that one, take away that one. So it's half natural log of that one. If you divide it by that, you end up with root 3. And that will do as an answer. Of course, that was a more complicated way. It's much easier, isn't it, to look in the formula book that's trying to do that right and get this as being um, a half natural log of sec x between pi by 12 and pi by 6. Sec 2x. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, sir. Uh, unison. Yeah, pretty good. We practiced. And then uh, go through that. <laughs> Hooray! 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 Hooray!